Welcome to this presentation. From this lecture, we will start demultiplexer. Demultiplexer, in short, called as DMUX. DMUX is a combinational circuit having one input and many outputs. Depending upon the select inputs, this single input is transferred to any of these outputs. So we can clearly see demultiplexer is having the reverse operation as compared to multiplexer. In case of multiplexers, we were having many inputs but single output. So we can say that it is having the reverse operation of multiplexer. It receives one input, one input and distributes it over several outputs depending upon the select inputs. We also have enable input. This enable will decide whether this circuit has to operate or not. If this enable is zero or low, the circuit is not operational and we will have zero at all the output terminals. If this enable is high, then our demultiplexer is operational and the data input is transferred to any of these outputs depending upon the select inputs. Let's take one simple case. I want this DMUX to operate. So this enable must be high and select inputs are 0, 0, 1 and data input is I. Select inputs are 0, 0, 1. It means this data input I must be transferred to Y1. In the same way, if we have Y5 and we want this data input I to be transferred to Y5, then we have to make this select inputs equal to 1, 0, 1 and this I will be transferred to Y5. So this is the simple operation for the demultiplexer and uh, this is also called as one to many circuit because single data input is transferred to many outputs and also data distributor because the data is distributed to many outputs. Let's try to find out the relation between output lines and select lines. These are the output lines and this is our select lines and let's say n is the number of output lines and m is the number of select lines. Then the relation is n equals to 2 to the power m. A very simple relation and if you want to know the number of select lines depending upon the output lines then you can simply take the log on both the sides. So we'll have m equals to log with base 2 n. So this is when you know the select lines and you want to know the number of output lines you will use this and when you have the output lines and you want the select lines then you will use this formula. Now we have all the knowledge to start with 1 to 2 dmux and as the name suggests we have single input and two outputs. If you remember in case of multiplexers we studied 2 is to 1 mux but as I have already told you reverse operation of multiplexer is there in case of dmux we have to reverse them. This will now act as the input and 2 will now act as the output. So we have 1 is to 2 dmux. So let's start with it. We'll try to find out the circuit for 1 is to 2 dmux. We will have two outputs and let's say they are y0, y1. We will have single input i and uh, now we want to find out the number of select inputs. We will use this formula. We know the number of outputs. So let's find out number of select inputs m equals to log with base 2 and uh, n is 2 in this case. So m is simply 1. We will have single select input and this is S0 right. I will also consider enable E is the enable. Now we can easily find out the table for 1 is to 2 marks. So let's do it quickly. E and S0 will decide the two outputs Y0, Y1. So we have E, S0 y0 y1 when e is 0 and s is 0 the outputs are going to be 0 0 because the dmux is not operational and we will have 
both the outputs equal to 0. In the same way, when E is 0, S is 1, then also both the outputs are equal to 0. So we can say that when E is 0, S0 is don't care. We don't have to look for the value of S0. If E is 0, outputs are going to be 0. Now when E is 1, Dmux is operational and S is 0. It means the data input I is transferred to Y0. So Y0 will have I, Y1 will have 0. When E is 1, S is 1, it means the data input is transferred to Y1. So Y0 is 0 and Y1 is equal to I. Now we will try to find out the value, the expression for Y0 and Y1. But I'm not going to use the K maps because we can easily find out the expression by using this truth table. Before that, I will give you one example. two variables so we have four combinations and this output y is let's say 1 0 1 1 this is the value for output y and uh, this example has to do nothing with our dmux to find out expression for y we consider all the cases for which the output y is high we have three such cases but we can definitely consider all the cases so let's see what we have for the first case, we have A complement and B complement and 1. A is low, B is low, so A complement, B complement and Y is 1, so 1 is here. For the second case, we have A complement and B and Y is equal to 0, so 0. For the third case, we have A and B complement and 1. And for the last case, we have A and B and 1. We can simplify this further. For the first term, we have A complement and B complement because we already know X and 1 is equal to X. For the second term, we will have 0 because X and 0 is equal to 0. And for the last two terms, we have A and B complement or A and B. And finally, we will have A complement, B complement or AB complement or AB. So this is what we have. We will try to find out y0, y1 in the same way. So let's start with it. y0, we can consider all the four cases. But as you can see, when output y is low, we are going to get 0. So there is no need to consider the cases for which the output is low. In the same way, we will not consider the first, second and fourth case, but we will consider the third case. And uh, we will have e e is 1, s0 complement, s0 is 0 and y0 is i so we will have i in the same way y1 is equal to we will consider this last case e s0 i so we have y0 as e and s0 complement and i y1 as e and s0 and i we can definitely implement this by using the three input and gates so let's do it quickly. E I S zero. I will use one not gate and this line will represent as zero complement. We require two AND gates, two three input AND gates. The output of the first AND gate is Y0 and the output of second AND gate is Y1. And uh, for Y0, we require E S0 complement I. So S0 complement I E. And for Y1, we require E S0 I. So S0 I E. So this is the circuit for 1 is to 2 Dmux. In the next presentation, we will study 1 is to 4 Dmux. If you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. This is all for this presentation. See you in the next one.